One of the things I talk a lot about on my videos is anxiety and panic attacks. And today's one of them days I'm going to be suffering from the anxiety. Uh, what I'm getting ready to do today is mow my yard, my back part of my yard. And it's one of the things that makes me have anxiety the most. I rate my anxiety from 1 to 10, 10 being the worst, 1 being hardly nothing at all. Right now I'm pretty much at a 7. Now, one might ask, why would you have anxiety doing the mowing? And it is kind of silly. The only way I can answer that is, for many years, I used to look for excuses to mow my grass, right? But something happened last year that's kind of went over into this year. This will be my first time mowing the backyard for the season. But something happened that I have anxiety. Could it be? The only thing I could think is, uh, one of my anxiety problems is my drain out pipe since we're going through the struggles we are here in our world right now you know the struggles with toilet tissue i have not been able to use the right brand of toilet tissue that my plumbing likes so a lot of times uh, i get a little bit of toilet tissue coming out of my drain out pipe that worries me it, it really does and number two i'm not sure uh, what happened it could be as something as simple as chest pain I had last year mowing the yard and somehow my cycle my, my, my psychic mind remembers it but what I do know is I get a lot of anxiety mowing the grass but guys I'm gonna nail the hill part and this is the only way I can get myself to do it I do one step at a time I'm gonna mow the difficult part and then I'm gonna take a break then psych myself up to mowing the rest of it hopefully and i do have to clean underneath my deck too so wish me luck it may not look like much but i'm telling you now this is a bitch well the hill part's done now i'm gonna sit here and debate do i do the rest of it i'm gonna sit down for a minute i'm not having any chest pain so that's always a plus my back's hurting but that's to be expected because hell oh i haven't done the backyard since uh i think august 1st or october 1st uh we had a dry spell last year and the dry spell we had uh just basically took my backyard the hill part down to dirt and it was kind of a pain in the butt to mow it the hill part now the other part uh, it's very time consuming it's on a slant so it's not really a hill it's just back and forth back and forth back and forth but I do have that sewage issue uh, my fear on that is I don't want it to be in the yard I won't know if it's in the yard until I get down there and whatever goes down has to come back up the self propel on my lawnmower is it doesn't work nowadays so <laughs> I push the lawnmower down on this side but then I got to push it back up and try to get done mowing that's a pain in the rump Trust me, guys, it is. Don't know what I'm going to do yet. Don't know. My anxiety now is a nine. And not to mention, when you first mow the first time of the year, the first couple of weeks, you smell the um, onion, the wild onion in the yard. I'm smelling it now, and it's making me sick. It's just, see, that's the thing about anxiety. Normally, that smell probably wouldn't bother me. But since I'm having anxiety issues at this moment, the smell is making me want to, making me sick. It's, oh, I, just, I don't care for it. So guys, um, I will let you know the conclusion if I do the backyard or not. If I decide to do the other part of the yard, uh, if the anxiety gets too bad, I'll stop. See, that's the beauty about owning your own property. That is the beauty of making your own decision. If you want to freaking stop, you can. The only side effects from that is when you are able to mow it next, it may be too high to mow. But I could damn well stop anytime I want. So, if I do mow the back part of the yard, I see you in about two or three hours. Yeah, it's going to take at least two hours to do it. Okay, I'm about halfway through the backyard, and the drain is bad back here, but not to extremes. It's bad enough to make me worry, but I'm halfway through the backyard. And uh, I thought the smell of onions were bad on the hill part. Oh God, it's even worse back here. Holy smokes. So let me show you. 
I got from that all the way to here yet to do and yeah and I should be good I will be taking a couple more breaks and I might do a vlog entry then so we see guys in about another hour I'm almost done with the backyard I got about maybe 20 more minutes worth to work and my anxiety levels down to a five now my drain I don't know what I'm gonna do with that I'm gonna hit the I don't know it takes a lot of money it, it take about two three thousand dollars because what I would have to have done is I would have to have a pipe I would have to have the yard dug up all the way through here then it makes the yell over this way and then it goes all the way back to the alley I would have to have that dug up then a fresh brand new pipe put in back about a year ago after we bought the house uh, the previous owners of the house knew the problem was there so he's like well I would pay for it to get done well the people he hired to get it done did not do a good job they didn't do the proper plumbing and that's what the pro that's why I'm having problems today and I mean you guys have about two to three to five maybe six seven thousand dollars laying around I don't so we've been what we've been doing was we've been using certain kind of toilet tissue that doesn't stomp it up and uh, we've, we've been getting away with it for a while, but now that it's hard to find toilet paper out there, you gotta, you gotta use what you can get, you know, it's stopping it up. And the funny thing is, it's the expensive stuff that stops it up. It's the expensive toilet paper that's doing it. It's that three-ply shit. But anyway, guys, I got a little bit more to do. I got what I call pet cemetery to do. I explain that to you one day if you want to know. Leave me comments why we call it that. And these flies are all over me trying to get a drink of my sweat. So we see a top side up on the deck. Done with the mowing. My dog is pissed off. I won't let her out here in the back because yesterday she gobbled up another bunny. I didn't know there was a bunny nest back there, and it's my fault. But I won't let her in the backyard until. Uh, probably I hate to say this for at least the rest of this month but guys take it from me my anxiety got up as high as an eight before I started the backyard and then it fluctuated from an eight to a six to an eight to a six and it went to a nine and then it dropped all the way down to about a shoot a two and three Whew, I'm sweating so Sometimes work through your anxiety. You know, if I would have let the anxiety win today, and I almost did, I wouldn't have got my backyard mode. And I got my backyard mode, and what I was so worried about wasn't as bad as I thought. My plumbing issue's bad, okay? Yes. But I've seen it worse. I had no chest pain. Well, I did have a little bit of chest pain, but that's a given, though. And the funniest thing is when I remember me telling you pushing the mower from all the way back there to up here, usually that kicks my butt. Didn't kick my butt this bad this time. Mm -mm. I think a lot of that has to do with anxiety too. If you ever start any kind of a job and you're high on anxiety, it's going to kick your ass a lot faster. You know, because half the yard, my anxiety was riding and fluctuating anywhere from 8 to a 7. And it was kind of kicking my butt a little bit. And then, once I got further into it, uh, it started feeling better. But I'm happy I didn't let the anxiety win today, because now i got my backyard mode. Tomorrow, I'll do the front, and I then will clean underneath the deck. My backyard is equivalent to at least a seven or eight mile walk. Uh, I figured that out one day. It's equivalent to at least a seven or eight mile walk. It takes me approximately... Ooh, two hours and ten minutes to do the whole yard. It really depends on the conditions of the yard. Today, it took it roughly about two hours and ten minutes. It really, it really fluctuates. Okay, uh, about halfway through the year, I could probably get done in about an hour and a half. That's just the back there. If I did the whole yard, front and back, it's well over three hours. Sorry, for those of you who don't like to see some guys spit. It wasn't actually saliva spitting out my water because I ended up with a little bug in my mouth. So guys, uh, thanks for watching. And I fought my anxiety today and I won. That's a win-win for me. 
It'd be nice if I could do this every time. So until next time, guys, come on. Let's get out of here. And I need a thumbnail. I should have took a thumbnail of the damn mower. Damn.